Hey what's up guys Tanmay here back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So in this video tutorial we will be understanding the concept of K maps or Karnov maps. In the previous tutorial we understood the concept of SOP and POS and also saw some numericals on them. So if you have missed them you can check it out as we will be needing those concepts in this tutorial as well. We won't be solving a numerical on K maps in this tutorial as we will just understand what K maps are and how are they used. And we also understand how to map a Boolean algebraic expression to these k-maps. So let's get started. We'll be covering the k-maps introduction and we'll understand the mapping of SOP expressions to k-maps. For this video tutorial, I'll be sticking to SOP expressions, but later on, I'll also discuss about POS expressions being mapped to k-maps. So let's understand some introduction or conceptual part of k-maps. A k-map or Karnov map provides a systematic method for simplifying boolean expressions. Till now we've been simplifying boolean expressions using the different boolean algebraic laws and techniques but this is an alternative technique and if you use it properly it will produce the simplest SOP or POS expression possible which is known as minimum expression. K maps is an array of cells. It's similar to truth table as it covers all the different types of input values provided by the input variables but it consists of a 2D array and each cell represents a binary value. Now these cells are arranged in a specific way so that the simplification of a given boolean algebraic expression is simply a matter of properly grouping the cells. That is, just by grouping these cells, we can simplify these equations. K-maps can be used with 2, 3, 4 and 5 variables. Beyond that, we have different techniques. Now the number of cells in a K-map is equal to the total number of possible input variable combinations. That is, if there are 3 variables, the number of cells would be 2 raised to 3, that is 8. So let's have a look at these K-maps. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I have drawn a 3 variable k map and a 4 variable k map. Here are the variables a, b and c for 3 variable k map. Now as you know, if there are 2 variables, we have 4 different values. So I have written them vertically, that is row wise. So 0, 0, 0, 1. Now instead of writing 1, 0, the way we write it is that we write 1, 1 first and then 1, 0. For the variable c, we have only 2 values. So the columns form as 0 and 1. So collectively the address or the binary value for this cell for the first cell would be 0 0 0. Now the corresponding decimal value would also be 0. So accordingly I will fill these values with their respective binary values. Okay so I have filled the corresponding values of all possible combinations of the three variables a, b and c. So now let's take an example of a boolean expression. Here you can see I have written question 1 wherein we have to map the following SOP expressions on the k-map. So now we know SOP is associated with the number 1 that is all the variables having 0 value needs to be complemented and converted to 1 1 1. So the value of this cell would be A complement, B complement and C complement since all the variable values are 0. Now if you have missed the part where we discuss the SOP and POS, we have a separate video wherein we understand its concept and we convert different boolean algebraic expressions into SOP and POS forms in the previous video tutorials from this playlist. So you can check it out as well. So now with that concept, we need to map each of these terms into the k-map and represent it by number 1 since it is SOP and it is associated with the number 1. So the first term ABC means that all values are 1 that is we don't need to take any complement. So the cell value where we have 3 times 1 is number 7 or this block so I write 1 over here. Now A complement BC means we need to find a cell value which has value 0 1 1. So this is this cell value. And for A complement, B complement, C complement, we need to find a cell value wherein all values are 0. So this would be this cell. So I mark it with 1. So we have mapped this entire boolean ex expression to its corresponding k-map format. Now let's have a look at this expression. First let's understand the four variable k-map. We have the variables A and B that form the row and C and D that form the column. So A, B can take four different values 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1 and 1, 0. Similarly, CD can take the four different values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. So collectively the cell value of this cell that is the first cell would be 0, 0, 0, 0. So let me just fill out all these cell values. Okay, so I have filled all these values. So let's map this expression number 2 to its corresponding k-map values. So for the first term A, B, C, D, we need to find a value that has the binary value as 1, 1, 1, 0. So that would be this block that is the number 14 so I mark it with value 1. For the next block we need to find a block that has the binary value as 1 1 1 1 which would be this block. For the third product term we have all the values as 0 so that would be the first cell itself. And for the last product term 
we have zero zero one one. So that would be this block. Okay, so I've mapped this as well. Now notice that the, both these equations are standard SOPs. That is, every product term has all the three variables A B C A B C A B C. And for the four variable, we have A B C D A B C D A B C D and A B C D. So whenever we map a Boolean expression to a K map format. We first need to convert it into a standard POS or SOP format. So just keep that in mind when we actually solve these problems. We'll have to do that calculation as well. So this was just for the mapping. I'll discuss about grouping, adjacency, and simplification in the next tutorial. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any queries or comments, post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload new videos. Peace.